using Faraday's constant. In this problem it says calculate the quantity of electricity or coulombs necessary to deposit 100 grams of copper from a copper sulfate solution. So first we have to find out how many moles of CO are going to be produced from this 100 gram sample. So 100 grams of C for 100 grams of COSO4 is going to produce one mole every 63.5 grams mole of copper. So we could, we're going to get 1.57 moles of copper. But now we also have to see how many electrons, because that's what's going to produce the electricity, we're going to, is required to, to deposit this much, this many moles. So Cu2 positive plus 2 electrons is going to yield Cu. And we use this because we know this is the electricity, the electrons that are going to be required to make Cu2 plus ions produce copper. So what we can see is that for every one mole of the copper, uh, every one mole of the copper two plus ions right here, we're going to need two electrons. So what I'm going to do is multiply this by two. So two times 1.57 moles. And so what I'm going to get is I'm, I'm going to require 3.14 moles of electrons. So we have one mole of C2+, plus, but now we need 3.14 because it's double the number of electrons, double the number of moles of electrons we need to make this reaction happen. So now that we have that, we can use Faraday's constant. So Faraday's constant, constant is equal to 96,487 coulombs per mole of electrons. So what we have to do is 3.14 moles of electrons times 96,487 coulombs per mole of E, for every mole of electron. So we can cancel out moles of electron and we're going to just be left with coulombs. And when I multiply these together and then divide by one, I'm going to get 3.03 .03 times 10 to the fifth coulombs is the quantity of electricity necessary so that I can deposit copper from this solution.